I'm with Neil Bain of Controlled and we're here at the IFSEC CCTV Lighting and Surveillance Area. Uh, Neil's going to explain uh, how it all works. Neil. Okay, thank you. Well, in behind this wall here, as you can see, uh, are four tunnels and uh, each, in each of the, the tunnels, in each of the scenarios, what you're seeing on the screen is what's in behind the wall. Um, so the, the idea is to show uh, the same specification camera from different manufacturers and how that camera can uh, uh, how it performs in different lighting conditions. So this one here is the infrared. Uh, in behind here is a single source infrared unit supplied by Raytech. Um, uh, and if I turn the infrared off, you'll see that's the sort of lux levels within, within, the, the, uh, within the ring itself. This one here is a, is a, a single source uh, sodium lighting, so it's a yellow lighting which you would expect to see in any high street or, or any street lighting. Um, okay. In this instance, this, this, the street scene in the background you can see starts to, to appreciate the colour contrast and how the camera copes with, with the yellow lighting. is the white light. This one here. As I say it's white light, so it's a single sort of 70 watt white light from Raytech. And once again, uh, what, we're, what we're highlighting here is, is the colour contrast, the, the and on the Rotokin, how sharp the pictures and images are. Each of the cameras there, they're uh, an IP camera, two megapixel. As I say, each, each in each tunnel they are the same model camera from the manufacturer, right. and um, uh, they're all the same specification. And then the final one over here. Here we're trying to. This is what we call in the challenge lighting. In here, in behind the rotor kit itself we've got a single source white light shining back at the cameras. So as the rotates, rotates around the white light, will shine directly into the camera. In addition to that there is uh, the lighting levels are redu increasing and reducing over a cycle. Um, so that again you can see the differences how the, how the cameras cope with, with the differences in lux levels and such like. And then you uh, once the, the level drops, it goes off entirely and then it floods back on. So we're asking a lot of, of the lenses uh, in this sort of, in this sort of in this situation. Um, all in all, as an integrator, it's, 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 it's great to be able to give the clients, the end users, the visitors here, the opportunity to have a look at, at, at the same specification camera and how they can they vary and, and they can be slightly different. The, the variations of, of one model with different manufacturers. Okay, thank right. you very much indeed. Thank you.